as I come up in my war rhino position, put my hand on his, onto his trapezius, grab a hold of his bicep. As I go to redirect him, if he starts to resist, I'm keeping a hold of this bicep and sliding my hand down to the wrist. From here, I keep him firmly tied up in a Russian tie. I like to keep my chin on the back of his shoulder, so if he swings at me with his right hand, I have good pressure the whole time. This elbow being on my solar plexus, me holding the thumb is creating an arm bar position. It's creating a huge amount of pressure on the elbow. From there, if I can get him to change the aspect of his body where he's leaning forward, I just step on his near or far foot, either one, and I drive him all the way to the ground using heavy shoulder pressure on the back of his shoulder, pinning him down. I then use my body to push the wrist through all the way to the back. I go knee on, on lower back. I can also, in some departments, I can go knee on shoulder, but I like to keep knee on, on top of the arm, pinning it down to the lower back. So I like to have my knee pinning down on the near side arm. I apply shoulder pressure to keep him from coming up. So I have him anchored here and I have him anchored here. I'm staying away from the neck. I'm staying back to the lower shoulder blade. I come underneath the bicep and pull it up and cuff. If his arm is turned the other way, I reach through, pull down, wrist right it back and capture here. At this point, I do my cuff or I transition over. I like to have, if you're allowed to have a knee on the back of a shoulder blade, I like to have a knee on the lower back. I like to have his elbow to be up on the inside of my leg, pinching my knees together, controls his shoulder, the near side arm. From here, I grab the bicep, pull it up, I can cuff him and look around and have good situational awareness around me. When I have him in the Russian tie, I have my, sh my chin tucked in tightly behind his shoulder, but I can't get him to posture down or he's pulling away from me. At all times, I'm keeping this arm, I'm keeping it as tight as I can. But from here, I transition this arm on the inside, locking a hold and hugging the arm. I bring my right hand over, and grab a hold of his trapezius. Now I'm not gonna hook his foot in an e-bump. All I'm doing is simply turning my toe so that my knee hits the back of his knee. So I still have good pressure. I have him tight. Anytime I put hands on somebody, I want them as tight on me as possible. I don't want there ever to be any kind of a space. As I keep him tight, I hold the hold of his trap. I anchor him in, I knee bump. Apply knee pressure, control the hands. As I have him tied up, in a, in a bear hug type of position. I'm feeding this arm all the way through and I'm owning this arm. I'm not allowing any space. Once I allow a little bit of space, then he can resist to fight his way out. I keep the arm tight and tight, grab a hold of his trapezius. I bring my knee perpendicular to his and I do a knee bump. I'm not hooking his leg, I'm not kicking his leg, I'm not tripping. All I'm doing is putting my foot perpendicular to his and turning my toe. Simultaneously, pulling down on the trapezius. By pulling down, I lose a, a degree of control, but I'm holding the arm tight. I'm also keeping my hand behind his head so his head doesn't hit the ground. From here, I'm, I'm grabbing the hand, and I'm pushing it down with two on one, and I'm sitting in his knee on belly position. If I can anchor it in under my knee, it's even better. And then you go reach across for that far side arm, and bring it in and control it, keeping my weapon system away from him at all times. There you go, sir. Can you come with me? Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Roll you on, on your side. Two, three. 